set the tone. Like who you are, who you have grown to be is somebody who, who sets it. Like you set the tone, you set the bar truly. And you don't realize this because you are such a humble individual. Y'all know I don't like that word, but I'm gonna just use it for right now. You are such a humble individual that you don't see yourself how other people see you. And your peers, people who know you, don't know you, whatever, just the people around you, the people in your energy, people on social media, whatever, they look up to you. And they're never going to admit this to you because whoever you are, your energy is so powerful that people will actually go out their way to not compliment you because they feel like you already get enough compliments or you're not going to care about what they have to say or there's a number of different reasons but people go out their way to not give you any type of positive reinforcement and that right there is part of the reason why you are such a like humble person because life has humbled you and you haven't always gotten the same love that you have given other people and it took you a long time to love yourself honestly like you have already you have always had that love for yourself but you didn't even really know who you were you were loving versions of yourself that wasn't even you but now that you know who you are and you love yourself you move from a place of like pure authenticity and what people don't understand about being authentic like really being authentic y'all i'm talking about raw <laughs> like you are your raw self unapologetically you don't you're not afraid to make mistakes you know that you are allowed to change your mind you're allowed to grow like you love yourself imperfections and all like truly that's that's raw love for yourself that's you love yourself unconditionally no matter what when you look in the mirror you love what you see even if there are things that you want to change that you plan on changing you still love this version of you right now you're not looking in the mirror hating that version of you you just look and say, I love you, girl. <laughs> or, man, I love you. You look good. You look handsome. Like, I love this person I see. I truly do. I see your flaws, and I think they're beautiful. I'll kiss them. <laughs> I love this person I see. Yes, there's things I want to improve, and I plan to, but I'm going to love myself through every single one of those stages. Like, that is authenticity. That's not being a narcissist. That's not being full of yourself like they try to tell us. That is being... Like that's self-love, that's being authentic. And that authenticity that you have um, has granted you a certain type of power that the, uh, the rest of the people around you and a lot of this world has not even tapped into yet because they don't know who they are. They are only being a version of themselves that they feel like will please other people or look good on social media like a lot of people are fake a lot of people are covered in filters like that's the world that social media has created and a lot of people are so afraid to be themselves because they're afraid of being judged you don't give a damn about none of that <laughs> you don't care about being judged okay judge me they judge jesus they judge everybody like it doesn't matter who you are they're going to judge you and people are going to have something to say and you truly understand that and understand that and you don't care like no one you're not gonna live your life in misery because people don't like you or they have something to say like no one if you live your life for other people and their opinions you are not in control of yourself like understand that you have no control at all you are being controlled because anybody can say something to you and you're going to it'll make you stop um, loving the things that you used to love and liking the people or whatever like it'll make you change everything about you because someone outside of you made you feel bad about yourself and now you feel like something's wrong that's not uh, that's not authenticity that's not self-love and you may have even gone through that but the version of you now is so different and most of the world does not understand that which is why they point the finger and call people like that weird because you're not like everyone else. You're standing firm in your own 
essence, your own being, <laughs> excuse me, while everyone else in the world is just co just copying each other. They're just carbon copies of each other. I just seen a post that said something along the lines of these rebrands that people are doing is just copying, pasting somebody else. And that's so true. People are just seeing whatever they see on social media. They like it and they feel like, okay, well, I need to do exactly that. I'm going to buy her entire outfit. I'm going to live her entire life. I'm going to buy his car. I want a girl just like his. Like, why? And they never stop and ask themselves why. They just see the type of attention that whatever lifestyle that that person is living is getting them. And they want it. Not understanding that if you just be yourself, people will, you will find your people. Your people will gravitate towards you. And there's going to be a lot of people who have something to say. So what? These people are miserable. We know this, okay? Most of the people in this world who are consumed with social media are miserable, period. We already know this. You might as well just do you. And that's what you do. You do you. And it looks, it looks good on you. And I say that it's a superpower because um, in the midst of people trying to come at you and try to pick you apart and just just tear pieces at you and just judge you, you it didn't do anything. <laughs> you're still standing tall. You're still standing firm because you know who you are. When you know who you are, nobody can tell you who you are. They can make assumptions. They can think what they want to think. They can try to bring up your past. They can say, oh, she did this, this, and this, or he did this back when. It doesn't matter because you know who you are. You have decided who you're going to be every single day, and you be that. While these people can't do nothing but try to pick you apart because they're afraid to look in the mirror and pick themselves apart. And that's just the tea, okay? That's just the tea, okay? And you doing this has made you so secure and powerful in yourself. It's like a block. Like, nobody can... Nobody can penetrate this force field that you have created like energetically around yourself because it's it's nothing. Like you you have come too far to worry about the opinions of a of a human or or the sheep, the the herd. You come too far for that. And you're not going to go back to that place with those people. You escape from that. The only thing you want to do is be authentically yourself and inspire people to hopefully be authentically themselves because it'll be a miserable life if you live for other people and then you wake up one day and realize you didn't even live for yourself.